Hello, I'm Danny and welcome to BHV Bikes and welcome to part two of my Grom adventure. Today we have left my lovely hometown of Bedfordshire and we're now heading back down to the south coast of England. Uh, yesterday's ride was good fun, got a bit tiring towards the end, but we did make it all in one piece. I'm not sure if we caught speeding or anything like that, but we'll never know for 14 days. Well, I think I was pretty well behaved. There may be a couple where a momentary lapse of concentration, but I don't think I'm going to lose my license on this bike, hopefully. I'm going to say hopefully touch wood and banging wood and touching my cock and all that sort of nonsense. But yes, so we have uh, 102 miles. It's going to take me four hours and 20 minutes because I'm going to be riding mainly back road, single track lanes. And on the last video, yesterday's video, I did most of my riding was down, say, these single tracks. We went through Fords. We went through green lanes. Hello. Yeah, so we had, uh, well, I got to my in-law's house last night and I was bloody knackered. So I, um, yeah. So one thing I will be wearing on this bike from now on in is a pair of gel cycling shorts. Just to uh, take the strain off my bum because uh, yeah that's the worst thing about it the seat is horrific but other than that it's not too bad like the journey uh, up normally is about two and a half hours I used to be able to do it uh, in two hours door to door um, but then like all the speed cameras and motorways got a little bit sketchy and and now obviously taking advantage of the, uh, yeah. So yeah, basically I used to do that, but now two hours, three hours to do. But then on this, I've set it to four hours to go the wiggliest route I can, um, which is roads like this, really. Obviously I'd like a bit more power, but Not the end of the world. But we're gonna get some fuel in a minute. And that should get us home. All being well. I am being fairly oh we're on Sundon Hills, didn't know that. I am being fairly efficient. Um, you know I'm doing 46 mile an hour. I'm not revving the tits off it yet, it's about 6,000 RPM. So yeah, been a little bit of a Grom adventure. I'm hoping to do a few more of these trips and Grom rides out just when I get the, uh, the hang of the handling and how it goes. Uh, I've got a rucksack on at the moment and I think that, God, someone's smoking some weed. Upper Sundon, I've never been here in my life. Um, I think that is just, it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit sketchy, really. I'm not that confident with it. But it's something I've got to deal with because I ain't got no space on the back. So, nice little town. So, this is Dunstable Downs where you can learn to fly a glider. In fact, there's one over there and there's two over there. I spent a lot of my uh, childhood here. My old man used to fly little aeroplanes and gliders, I think. Wow, there's a lot of people up there today flying kites. But yeah, there's loads of gliders in the sky today. Great day for it. Something I'd like to have a go at one day, but I'm not so sure. But yeah, uh, I don't know if there's anywhere else around here I can fly. But uh, it's Dunstable Downs. Very busy today, as you can see. If I didn't have four hours to go, I'd be uh, stopping and having a cup of tea. Ooh. Bit of green lane in. 
far. Slippery as shit. Let's get out of this middle bit. Let's go over there. Foot over the back brake. This is fun, isn't it? Different. Not your usual M25, M1, M3, A3 route, is it? A3, M3? A3. Ooh. Following cars, it's not a bad idea for the moment. But the best part? You're joking, ain't ya? You? You're gonna have to go back, mate. Keep on going, keep on going. You got a long way to go. You got a long way to go. I can't get past. No pressure. There we go, look, perfect placing place. Bloody steep that, crushing my nuts on the tank. Turning left in a minute, God, that's a big old house. No ABS, all down to rider skill. I don't want to go in the gravel, I don't want to be in the hedge. Oh wow, look at that church. Quite a nice spot. Oh, fuck me, there's some money around here, isn't there? Jesus wept! Meow. This is all a little bit weird. Don't know where it's taking me. Nice though. Uh, uh. I think this is the way we came last time. Not sure. It's a bit bit sketchy. Uh, can I go up there? A bit busier than yesterday. 
we won't twat through here then, we'll just uh, take it easy. Da, 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 da. Oh, I need to get some cycling shorts. Oh, look at this. Sketchy. Considering there is only four gears, I'm never in the right fucking one. Ugh. Thanks. She was fit. I'm riding her. Why well, find? Not sure I could do a Euro tour on one of these. Nice house. So we are now. So we are now in Slough. So we have some good parts and we have some other parts. I am saying nothing. This is a family show. I am keeping politics out of this. HJ56WCE, your number plate is here. Tag and share, tag and share, let's find the owner. Stretch. Oh, my bum. It generally feels like I've actually pedaled all this way. Community support officer. Plastic policeman, plastic policeman, plastic policeman, plastic, plastic, plastic. plastic. 29 miles an hour up to the hospital. The roads that you're seeing <coughs> me ride are just these are perfect for the Grom. Like the big open roads, yeah, not so much. But these roads, my god, they are a lot of fun. I've had a few moments and I'm not I'm not getting the bike over as much as I want to, but these tires are terrible. So we shall see, but I mean, this bike is fantastic. I am so in love with this bike right now. What an absolute weapon, it's done a grand job. Considering it's only a 125, it has done a fantastic job so far. But there's a few things I'm gonna change on it. Firstly, tires, they're, they're shagged, and these indicators. I'm gonna to have to start modifying them. The more I look at them, the more they are annoying the shit out of me. The back's quite clean. Um, quite clean and tidy and whatnot, but those front indicators have got to go. Anyway, I've got another 40 odd minutes left of this 120 odd mile ride, so I'm going to uh, jump back on and I'll catch you on the head cam. Oh, uh, traffic lights. Should we see if we can uh, sneak past? Oh dear, he's going to hate me. She's going to hate me. Not surprised it's a Porsche.
nowhere to be seen. What do they know? Lovely. You should have been an estate agent. Look at the size of them. Their garage is bigger than my house. Down, 40 mile an hour. It's not like about the Grom, 40 mile an hour. You can actually have some fun. On my XR, <laughs> 40 mile an hour, yeah, not so much. The fairway, it's a nice plot there as well. Can you throw it in down there? Whoa! That was gravel, that was. That was sketchy. That's the front gone then. That old leg went out, we caught it. I know I was pushing my luck a little. Track's not too bad. It's a bit alright. I don't know whether I was filming when it went uh, uh, on me on the front, but I know I would have completely shagged these tyres by the time I get home. So, ordering some new ones for Thursday. Right, right, we're now, back, we're now back on my own stomping ground, so I'm going to ignore the sat-nav and just ride my route normally home because I am tired and my bum is, my God, it's sore. I've cycled John Goats to Land's End with my wife. We did it in 24 days. We did a scenic route. We did 1,500 miles. And my bum hurts more now than it did then. So, oh, the Grom life is hard, but my God, it's fun. So this is Petworth. Now, now Petworth don't like anything noisy. In fact, they have a campaign set out against bikers because they don't like anything noisy. <sighs> so we're going to whisper through Petworth. Or should we not? I'm not that noisy really, to be honest. Got a call number plate for a uh, perfect portable toilet solution. They're called Lou for any. Lou for any. See? Lou for any. Lou for any event. It's quite cool. I'd say it's a bit of a shit job though, wouldn't you? Right, so we're going to hang a left here. We're going to where are we going? You're going right there, mate. Okay. Shut up. See what I mean? Bloody old woman. I'm running a standard exhaust. It's not even noisy. Standard. Let me remind you. Standard. Manufacturers see that. That's acceptable. So you want to yell at me? Yell at me. Right? You need to lose that chip on your shoulder for bikers. Because you never know. It's bikers that bring your blood in an emergency. It's bikers, right? That raise more money for charity. <laughs> 